welcome to the bar, come on and pull up a seat And open up your Bible, what a wonderful feast The living bread and we're discussing what it means for the streets The inner cities and the burbs and every person we meet This is where we challenge worldviews that we hear from world news In light of the scripture, we are here to serve you We're your source for resources To help you on your way as you battle mean forces This is for the people who can see the importance Of sound theology and the scripture that support it And this is for the truth lovers, biblically reforming Preaching Christ to the nations Yeah, Welcome to the Modern Reformation, yeah. The Bar, Biblical and Reformed. Welcome everybody to The Bar. It's your boy, Dwayne, the building right back in here. Another Tuesday. Super excited, as always, to come with these speakers, the earbuds, wave listen to The Bar. We're grateful that you're listening. And I love to start the show the same way. That's by thanking the listeners. Thank you guys for listening to The Bar, tuning in to The Bar, and sharing The Bar. We've been going here six years, man, and it's uh, it's been quite a journey, and I'm really excited about um, just the, the new people I get to bring on as well as bring back some old folks. Um, but this is a newcomer. Uh, I've been wanting him on the show for a good while, uh, but we was finally able to make this work and make it happen. I have on none other than my brother, Reagan. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. It's great to finally connect with you. Yeah, brother. Yeah. I, we, we've connected on social a little bit and you know, you, you and, uh, Daryl spoke really highly of you when you was in one place when we were talking to all, talk about all that. And I was like, man, I really gotta get this guy on my show. Cause I enjoy his podcast as well. So Reagan, jump right in, man. Introduce yourself to my listeners. Anything you want to share personal profession? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm Reagan Rose. Uh, I run a ministry called redeeming productivity where we talk about personal productivity, but from a biblical worldview, trying to help Christians become better stewards of their time for God's glory. Uh, before that, I was, I was with uh, Grace to You, uh, John MacArthur's ministry for several years, a graduate of the Master's Seminary, uh, all my friends out there in California, but now living back here in Michigan with my family and just working on this productivity stuff full time. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Well, so I'm going a, I'm to a rewind back um, to – you know, being at Masters uh, and kind of the the path that God is taking you on with that, and then we'll we'll get into the you know with the podcast and all that. So take us back to that that time frame. You know, when you were going there, what were you uh, were you trying to be a pastor or a teacher or give us give us a little background on that? No, for sure. Yeah, you know, I I went to seminary to be a pastor. That was my intention, and it's actually pretty cool. God. Uh, work things together in a really amazing way where I, I'd been uh, teaching college students the Bible at my church for several years back here in Michigan. That's where I'm from. And uh, I'd really sensed, man, I want to be doing this. Uh, I really want to be teaching God's word, but I need to get equipped. And I love MacArthur. I, I loved him back then. And I just really wanted uh, to go to the master's seminary, but we had no money. My wife and I were, had only been married a couple years and I was working three jobs. She was working two jobs. We were trying to sort it out and just amazing bit of Providence and just the generosity of some people, uh, a couple that doesn't even really know us that well, ended up scholarshipping us to, to be wow. able to go out to the seminary. So three months after I had said, hey, I'd like to go to seminary, we were in Southern California. <laughs> so wow. it was a wild ride and uh, just loved my time there, loved the seminary, loved uh the being at the church at grace church and so yeah the intention was to do pastoral ministry but ended up uh doing a lot of administrative stuff using uh, some of the skills some of the uh the gifts god had given me previously uh before i had an interest in teaching the bible doing things with web development and uh marketing and things like that so i ended up working for the seminary for a number of years and then eventually moving over to uh grace to you and working with them, doing some of that uh, stuff, and getting to utilize the the Bible training and some of these other skills together, which has been really fulfilling and just a, a really kind of different path than I expected, but sure. really have enjoyed it. Wow. Okay. So um, that that that's interesting. You know, first of all, man, that, that it's amazing to hear stories about people that uh, you know are blessed by someone you know, to, to get them to do something like that. Like you said, a couple didn't know y'all that well and were able to, to start you on that path to get you going to going to the seminary, working for grace of you and all of that. That is, that's a really amazing. Um, so let's talk about the, uh, you know, uh, your role there 
at Gracie U, you talk about using your admin and social skill, social media skills. Uh, what were some of the things that you you kind of implemented there or uh, was in charge of there? Because, uh, like I said, uh, Daryl spoke really highly of you, uh, Daryl Harrison of Just Thinking, uh, and I'm assuming you guys got to work together uh, pretty uh, a lot as well. Yeah, it was it was really cool. Um, so Daryl and I started at the same time, like just oh, okay, about, I didn't know that two weeks of each other. Yeah, so we were both the new guy. <laughs> at the same time so we bonded nice. over that but uh also we kind of worked hand in glove a lot because you know daryl uh, oversaw social media there and i was over like the um the other side of the the um website of the ministry so i ever saw the developers um for the website and the apps and then we had some people doing content for you know the the blog and some of the other aspects of the ministry so my title was director of digital platforms so mm-hmm. kind of the any of the stuff that was online so it was cool because daryl and i worked together all the time doing uh you know we had to integrate with um the stuff he was doing on social media with what we were doing on the website and the app so it's cool it was it was really neat wow amazing man amazing and so now let's let's get into the podcast because you know you talk about productivity and all of that i'm gonna let you talk about what inspired you to to, to start that and then I want to get into, you know, maybe dropping some some little jewels with, with my listeners, man, some some tips or whatever. So what what inspired you to even start that podcast? Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm not like a naturally productive person. That was <laughs> going to be my first question. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always have to disclaim that because people are like, oh, you're the productivity expert. It's like, no, 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 my friend. <laughs> this my interest in this is driven by necessity. Right. Uh, I I grew up. I was so lazy i was uh up until like my young adult years i was like a hundred percent addicted to video games like mm. i mean i love i love games but like i was like way loved it too much and so mm. i was like aimless and just absolutely all over the place and so when i started you know realizing like that the christian life is <laughs> it's more than just waiting around for heaven like there's <laughs> there's work to be done there's it's a stewardship to be had that to glorify God with your life, like that's what it's all about. I started realizing, man, I gotta, I gotta get this, uh, this house in order. And so mm-hmm. I started reading books on productivity and listen to podcasts, but it was all like from secular authors or speakers. And it just didn't like, there was like a lot of good practical stuff, but like the underlying philosophy was all about, well, don't you want to do this so you can get rich? Or mm. sometimes there would be even like, mystic type stuff about you know like the law of attraction or the secret you know manifesting stuff and so the more i read this stuff i was like man i love the practical stuff i feel like there's not a lot of like really hyper practical things about forming good habits um getting stuff done like specifically for christians that's actually done from like a biblical perspective and so that's kind of Mm -hmm. the gap that i saw and so i started writing on personal productivity um I think it was in my first or second year of seminary, actually. <laughs> you talk about a time when you need to learn to manage your right. time well. Going through <laughs> seminary, man, it's like a, a full assault on your attention. Right. So, uh, I started writing on it back then, um, and originally it was for pastors. It was called The Pastor's Week um, before I renamed it Redeeming Productivity. And it was just kind of like, how do you manage your week? How do you manage writing sermons, that kind of stuff? And then eventually I broadened it out more to just kind of generally um, – productivity for christians wow that's amazing man because like i said that was gonna be my, my first follow-up question was like you know so are you that you're you that guy but <laughs> <laughs> no, i am and, not and, that guy <laughs> <laughs> so so what's cool about it man is you know um i'm not a gamer uh but just because of the nature of you know having social media and in a podcast and a network that i try to run you know i, I was the way i found your podcast was by you know, looking for, uh, you know, ways to, you know, uh, I guess be more productive, but from a Christian perspective, like that was like all the the, the bells and whistles for me, because like you said, there's a lot of podcasts and information about being productive and, you know, managing time, but to have it from a a biblical basis is what really, really uh, drew drew my attention to you. And I I hope I can send some more listeners your way, man. So, uh, on, and, and recently you had one of my network folks on, which was really cool. Uh, Miss Marcy. Yes. I love Marcy. Yeah. The yes. thankful homemaker. She is yes. awesome. 
Marcy is amazing. Uh, she she's actually one of the first podcasts on the Bar Podcast Network. Um, so uh, big shout out to her. Um, but yeah, man. So uh, just kind of talk about the the response you've had since start starting this podcast. What has been the feedback? What's been the response since uh, you got this going? Yeah. No, it's been really cool. I kind of, you know how it is. Like if anybody who's like a creator of anything, like you, there's always this sense where like you're going to make this thing and you're wondering, is anyone going to like it? Yep. Like, is any, yep. I think it's cool, but is anyone yep. going to care? Um, but the response has been really positive. Like I think a lot of people kind of sense people who are interested in trying to become more personally productive that are like solid believers have sensed there was a gap there. So I constantly hear the feedback of this is what I was looking for. Mm-hmm, oh, this mm-hmm. is like the, you guys are my people like mm-hmm. thinking you, you want to do this for the right reasons. You're, you're actually trying to live a life that serves God better. So it's been exciting. I mean, the podcast is only, I think I started it in 2019. Originally I started stuff off just blogging, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's growing slowly, but surely, but, uh, we have some some loyal listeners and we've made some really awesome lifelong friends just from, you know, putting putting my voice out there on this topic out into the world and people that never would have discovered otherwise stumbled across. And so, yeah, I, it's it's been awesome. Hoping to continue it. I, I have no plans of stopping anytime soon. <laughs> I love it. I love it. OK, so um, as far as where do you see it going and, uh, you know, any other kind of kind of additional content? I know you have doing some videos uh, at one time. What what are some of the, the things you want to see happen with it, especially since you're now doing it uh, more frequently? Yeah. No, so I'm uh, – I – let's see, March 1st of last year, so a little over a year ago, I was able to start doing Redeeming Productivity – like as my full-time job. And so that's not just the podcast, but I, I developed some courses and like a, a little program that kind of works people through like learning these practical skills in like a community of other believers. And so that's enabled me to kind of start doing this full time and, and do a bit more on the content side of things. So I've ventured into YouTube and uh, I keep writing articles, obviously keep doing the podcast. I have a newsletter that uh, deals with these topics kind of gives a practical um, tip for productivity for Christians along with some of the, like the best resources that week that I found online on mm-hmm. along these lines. So kind of the long-term plan is uh, I just want to keep pumping out <laughs> good stuff on this and hopefully continue to, uh, to uh, find ways that will be helpful to people. I really enjoy doing the, um, the, the, the teaching aspect of it. That's what's been kind of funny. It's like, it is sort of a teaching ministry in a way. So mm. it, it's been neat to, to dig in and do some of these longer video courses like that, where there's like parts of it where we're looking at the Bible and we're like applying it, but we're also mm-hmm. like, you know, developing exact specific strategies for like how, for example, I do one on morning routines and it just walks mm-hmm. people through how do you get to bed at the right time? How do you wake up at the right time? And what, what okay, now go set your alarm so that it's going to happen every day. Okay, what's your Bible reading plan for the year? So that, I really love that stuff. I want to create more of that that just bridges the gap between like really sound biblical theology and hyper practical steps that someone could take to, mm. to live a more God glorifying life. Love it. Love it. Sounds awesome, man. That's exciting, and uh, and I, I I hope that uh, there might be a listener that might can jump in on that because that that sounds really cool, bro. So right here we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right. What's up, bar folks? It's your boy Dwayne, and many of you know I've taken my healthcare serious as of late. Um, I've gotten older, and my healthcare has become more of a concern. I needed to find something that would fit my budget, but it also was important that I found a solution that had integrity. And compassion through Christian healthcare ministries, I found all of that and more. Not only is CHM a budget friendly health care cost solution, but is also faith based. Through CHM, both my health care and my spiritual needs have been met. How does it work? CHM is a health cost sharing ministry that enables Christians to carry each other's medical bill and lift each other up in prayer. Since 1982, they've successfully 
satisfied billions in eligible medical bills for hundreds of thousands of Christians. Could you or someone you know benefit from joining CHM? Check us out today. Visit chministries.org forward slash podcast to learn more. Your favorite band's about to play a sold out show. You got in. Over here. With a friend and found a spot close enough to see the set list. They're definitely playing your song. When you're with Amex, it's not if it's going to happen, but when. American Express. Don't live life without it. Back. Welcome to our channel for ordinary people with extraordinary life. This is a series dedicated to bring to you the testimonies of believers and followers of Jesus Christ, giving you an intimate look into the lives of people coming from different walks of life. These are people who have acknowledged that we are all sinners and fall short of the glory of God. We were God's enemy. In order to restore our relationship with God, we have to repent, turn away from our sins, and confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, and that the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. We believe that we are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Join us on our journey as we listen to the transformed lives of these people and how the Lord brought them out of darkness into light. All right, we're back in here with my brother. And uh, this is the side of the podcast where we do what I call the bar signature question. These are the qu- three questions I ask all of my guests. And so the first signature bar question is, what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, man. I'm like not a big music person. Ah, <laughs> I listen, okay. I'm going to embarrass myself. I, I do listen to music, but usually it's like, generic like lo-fi hip-hop like you know oh, listen, go on youtube and you, find like playlists for concentration yes, <laughs> yes no that's that you're home this is what i love lo-fi hip-hop <laughs> bro that's my that's the that's soundtrack perfect. of my life <laughs> yeah, i got it i got like the, one of those um uh amazon echo things yes and that's just what's always playing in the background while i'm working yes yes all day like I, I had to pause it to get on the phone with you like that that's, yeah, legit. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. legit yes no that's that answer is respected here brother you're in good company <laughs> you know i also <laughs> like the old uh i like the i like christian music too i'm not like big mm-hmm. into the um the modern stuff i'm not got nothing against it but i like the old stuff i like the hymns there's there's some people who do some nice modern um you know, I don't know what you call it, retreatment of old hymns and stuff. I like listening to that stuff on the road trips and whatnot. But yeah, mostly it's stuff with no lyrics, you know, just the, yep. the beats for concentration. Love it. Love it. Love it. Good stuff, man. I, I kind of figured that was your answer that it, I, even before I, I asked it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. What uh, book or books are you currently reading? Oh man. So I'm right now I'm reading Atomic Habits, which is very mm. like on brand for me, I guess. We do, uh, I have this thing called like the Redeeming Productivity Academy. It's like a community for people who are, who are trying to improve in these things. And we have a book club that's part of it. So we're literally oh. reading that book um, over the next, I think we have three more weeks of it and then we talk about it. So rereading that, I'm also reading a book on Christian worldview. My mom just got it for me and it's awesome. Mm. You, ever, you ever read um, Randy Alcorn's Heaven, that Mm-mm. book? Yeah, I I love that book, but he was saying in an interview somewhere that this book, Creation Regained by Albert M. Walters, uh, Biblical Basics for a Reformational Worldview, he said Mm -hmm. that was one of the things that made him start thinking about heaven and all that stuff differently. This book is awesome. It's a classic, I guess. It came out in the 80s, but Creation Regained, really enjoying that. It's on Christian Worldview. Nice. I love it. Good deal. All right, so last signature bar question is, what podcasts or sermons do you listen to, if any? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm you know, still a, a, a mega J-Mac fanboy, so I listen to him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's ironic. I don't listen to as many podcasts anymore because I, like, don't commute. Like, yep. I, I just didn't even yep. think about it. When I was driving or walking to work all the time, like, I listen, but I just work from home now, so I don't really listen Yep. that many podcasts anymore same here. unfortunately are yeah. you the same way yeah, yeah I, I don't know if home. you saw this yeah when uh when like the pandemic happened you know 
Yep. Uh, I don't know if you saw this, but like the stats on my podcast, like just went a major dip because I think oh. everyone was working from home. hundred percent. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Uh, the commute no longer. I mean, a lot of people don't commute. Um, you know, I don't commute and that makes a difference. A lot of people, you know, listen to podcasts while they're going to work and uh, totally. yeah, definitely saw a difference for sure. Well, listen, brother, this has been fun, man. Always like to end the show by uh, giving an opportunity to leave any words of encouragement, any productivity tips or whatever you want to leave uh, before we slide out of here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I just, the thing I think about all the time, and this is really my, uh, my bit of worldview advice is the Christian life is a stewardship, man. All your time, your energy, your efforts, all the skills God's given you, those are not yours. They're his. And it's our responsibility and privilege to make a good return on those gifts for him. So being productive, making the best use of your time. Uh, that is how you glorify God each day of your life. So it, it's, it's the greatest joy and the greatest privilege to get to be a servant of the King of Kings. Awesome. Amen, brother. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you again for coming on, man. This has been fun to the bar podcast folks. Thank you guys for listening to the bar podcast, your favorite podcast. Come out every Tuesday, go to the bar podcast.com. Check us out. And to check out any of the podcasts on the Bar Podcast Network, just hit that network tab and uh, check out all the podcasts on the network. Also, if you want to pick up some bar gear, go to the bargear.com. And until next time, you guys, God bless. And we are out.